Hello everyone and welcome to another of our videos on the balance of payments. This time we're going to be taking a look at the financial account. So a little bit of a reminder then, these are the four accounts that make up the balance of payments and the financial account is the one at the very bottom. So in the case of the UK, this is a big plus account. Significantly more money comes in through this account at the moment than is going out. Remember, these numbers are in pounds million. So the financial account currently stands at a surplus of over 77 billion pounds. So the financial account then, this includes transactions that result in a change of ownership of financial assets and liabilities between UK residents and non-residents. And there are four parts to this account. So the first part is the net balance of foreign direct investment flows. And in a moment, we'll be looking at exactly what this includes. The next part of the financial account is the net balance of portfolio investment flows. So this is all about transactions in debt, in bonds and equity shares. We have the balance of banking flows. So this is hot money flows that moves around the world looking for the best rate of return. And then one more category here, changes to the value of reserves of gold and foreign currency. So much like we have the balance of payments split into four separate accounts, we've got the financial account split into four parts as well. So let's start then by looking at the first of the categories we had foreign direct investment. So foreign direct investment is investment from one country into another, um, usually by companies rather than governments, but it doesn't have to be. And it involves establishing operations or acquiring a share in a business. So we're going to see inward investment as a positive item. So when an overseas business decides to build a manufacturing factory, let's say in the UK, that's going to be a positive coming in through this part of the account. And if a UK company makes an investment overseas, then um, that is going to count as a negative item on this part of the account. So a thinking task for you, um, which countries do you think have made the most inward investment, FDI investment into the UK and why do you think this? Pause the video for a couple of moments and then come back when you have had a chance to think about this. Okay, well, here we are. I've got two um, tables on here. The one on the left for 2018 shows flows of FDIs. This is new foreign direct investment coming into the UK and you can see that by quite a long way, actually, the biggest flows come from the US. So other countries on here, Canada, Spain, Germany, Australia, some UK offshore islands, so the Isle of Man and the Channel Islands. And the right hand diagram though, 
refers to stocks. So this is the stock that has built up over time as a result of the flow of transactions. And again, the USA is at the top of the list. Um, we're looking at outward FDI on this chart um, with flows on the left. Were these what you were expecting them to be? And stocks on the right. So again, the USA heads up the stock column. But for outward investment by region, you'll see that there is a mix of positives and negative. So the negatives occur when um, outward investment is repatriated, when, when that, that money is brought back to the UK. So a summary here of the stock position for the UK. And you will see that over the last um, few years, actually the UK stock of assets held in other countries and um, other countries stock of assets in the UK has actually become remarkably similar. And we've also got on this chart the, uh, the yellow lines and the orangey lines. These are the rates of return that is earned on these assets. So the amount of earnings from an overseas investment, it's going to be determined by, first of all, the stock, the amount that's actually been invested and the rate of return. So a really key point to remember is when the FDI transaction first takes place, it shows in this part of the financial account. But once it starts earning profits, then these occur in the primary income part of the current account. So portfolio investment then? Well, this is what happens when people or businesses from one country buy shares or other securities such as bonds in another country. Now, one thing you may have been noticing is that in this context, we refer to this as portfolio investment. So investment has a slightly different meaning here to how we would normally use that phrase in economics. And the foreign exchange reserves and gold category. So what we've got on this slide is according to the IMF, um, these are the reasons countries should be holding uh, foreign exchange reserves and gold. Now, it may be that they need these reserves to intervene and support their currency, depending on the type of currency exchange rate regime they operate. Uh, they might want to hold these reserves to limit their vulnerability in case access to borrowing is reduced. They might hold these reserves to provide confidence that their external obligations can be met or to maintain a reserve for natural disasters, national disasters or emergencies. So another thinking task for you, which countries do you think might have the largest foreign exchange reserves and why? Pause the video just for a couple of moments. Come back when you are done. 
Well, here we are. This uh, is a chart shown in US billions of dollars. So these are really big numbers on here. And it is perhaps no surprise to see China at the top. China has been a country which for many, many years has been fairly active in its foreign exchange markets in a way that has allowed it to acquire significant foreign exchange reserves. So a thinking task for you, um, I have got along the top row here, uh, four scenarios. And what I would like you to do is to think about how they match with the correct part of the financial account. So for each of these things, um, which part of the financial account would they be shown on? Pause the video for a couple of minutes, come back when you are done. So here we are on this slide, they're in the correct order so Japanese car manufacturer building a new car plant that's going to go in the foreign direct investment part um, transactions in government bonds that will be in portfolio investment moving money around looking for a better rate of return that's going to be in the banking flows or money section and the value of gold increasing, well, that will affect the value of reserves of gold and foreign currency. There we are, an end to our video looking in detail at the financial account.